Welcome back. Welcome back to my kitchen. One of my favorite rooms in the house. Just one. But today we're going to make something that is so simple to make. It's quick. It's delicious. It's healthy and nutritious. And I like all four of those combinations together. How about you? Do you like healthy, nutritious? So we're going today, we're going to make some shrimp and grits. Now, shrimp and grits is something that you can eat for breakfast, you can eat for lunch, and you literally also can eat it for dinner. It's just up to you. There are a lot of breakfast foods that you can eat for dinner. But shrimp and grits, people love to come over here and eat my shrimp and grits, and they're like, I don't really like grits, and I don't really eat them, but why do your grits taste so good? All right, so I'm going to let you in on a secret today. You ready? All right, I put... As you can see, my water for my grits is boiling already, but I'm gonna put this chicken bouillon cube into the water. See there? So guess what's gonna happen? That chicken bouillon cube is going to dissolve and make a chicken broth. And then I'm going to literally cook my grits in the chicken broth. So there you end up with not a flat tasting grit, but a yummy, flavorful grit. And then when we add the shrimp to it and everything, it's just going to be delightful. So first you want to definitely cook your grits according to the instructions on the container. And um, my description, of course, the recipe is there in the description of this video. And so my bouillon cube is in there. Let's see. Yep, just that quick, it's dissolved. So I have a nice chicken broth now with which to cook my grits. And I keep my stuff organized. I like, I don't know about you, but I like a nice organized kitchen where I can find stuff. How about you? And so I keep all my stuff organized on shelves. So there I have my grits right up there next to my brown rice, sugar, jasmine rice, croutons. It's all in there. So now my grits are in one of my storage containers, but you'll want to keep the uh, box and make sure you, because grits are tricky. So we're gonna pour our grits in. And the measurements are right in your description of this video. And grits cook pretty quickly. So you wanna stir them. And let them boil for a few minutes and as they begin to boil you're going to turn your burner down because again they cook very quickly you can see that I'm going to put a top not all the way on but partially because I want the water to be able to evaporate out but I don't want the grits popping all over the stove. They'll pop out and burn you. So you want to put a top on. All right. So while our grits are cooking, and oh my God, they smell so good. You can smell the chicken flavor. Those are going to be some really good grits. See there? As you hear it starting to pop like that, you can literally put the top on, turn your burner off, and there's enough heat now in that burner to finish cooking your grits. One of the uh, challenges to cooking is that people will overcook things. A good pot will hold heat within itself. And so right now I've turned the burner off, but guess what? They're still cooking because there's still heat there. You wanna stir? Oh yes. See how beautiful? I can literally just about take them off the burner, but I'm gonna leave them there for a few minutes. We're gonna come on over to our shrimp here. So you're gonna take about a half a pound of shrimp. Depends on how many people you're cooking for. And I have my smoked paprika. Now some people call it paprika, some call it paprika, but it's delicious. This is smoked paprika and a favorite Maryland uh, seasoning called Old Bay. 
something we use on crab, seafood. So I put the two of them together and I blend it in a nice bowl. So then you're gonna take your shrimp and you're just gonna sprinkle this all over your shrimp. That's the Old Bay and paprika together. And then you just wanna stir. Make sure they got a nice little coating. Let's check on our grits. Ah, beautiful. So, you wanna take a third of a stick of butter, sit it right down there in the middle, let it melt into your grits. Stir it around, and your grits are ready. So we're gonna remove them from the burner altogether because we don't want them to keep cooking. Our grits will be ready for our shrimp. So you're gonna heat your pan, and you're gonna take some more butter. Description's there in the recipe. Put in your pan. Put it on around. I like using cast iron pans. They're good, they're healthy. They maintain flavor and vitamins very well. So I recommend using cast iron dishes when you can. And take a moment, let our butter get nice and hot. And when it does, then we're gonna put our shrimp in. In the meantime, look at our grits. Beautiful texture, ready to go. All right, now we're gonna put our shrimp in. You don't wanna overcook them, so put them in. Make sure that butter is yum, yum, yum. And shrimp tend to cook very quickly. They'll get nice and pretty pink or orange on one side. Then you can flip them over. They cook very quickly, so this is not something you want to walk away from the stove and kind of leave there. You want to stay right with them as they're cooking. See there? That's so beautiful. Really pretty. Shrimp cooks so quickly. Now here comes the next part of our recipe, Alfredo sauce. I've showed you how to make this in some of my other recipes, the um, shrimp Alfredo. So check that out. We pour your Alfredo right in there on your shrimp. And at this point, you'll want to move your shrimp from the burner. Because again, this cast iron pan now is so hot I don't need any more heat from the burner to finish this process. So we put our Alfredo sauce in there. Just enough to coat your shrimp. You don't want them to, you know, drown in it, but you just want to coat them nicely. Look at that, look at that. Ah. Now, when it comes to your sauce, you really can use whatever you like. When it comes to the sauce for your shrimp and grits, you really can kind of use what you want. Some people use gravy, but I love, oh my goodness, a good Alfredo sauce with my shrimp and grits. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And again, we're not using heat from the burner. There's enough heat in the pan to lightly coat our beautiful shrimp. So now they are all ready to be placed on our grits. Our grits are done. We've already put them in a nice container. So let me get one of those containers. So here I've done a container of grits. Now you know what's awesome about shrimp and grits? You can store this in the refrigerator and heat it up the next day if you don't eat all of it. But you also can freeze it and thaw it out and it's still delicious. 
So here we go. We'll take some of our shrimp. And just lay it right on top of your grits like that. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty. Now you know I'm not finished. Because I think parsley belongs on everything. So there's my parsley. And you have a beautiful container of shrimp and grits. Now remember, you can store this. Here's my next container. So if you're a person that does meal prep, you literally can make your breakfast for the whole week. Put it in the fridge, pull it out, heat it up each morning. That way you're leaving the house with a nice, nutritious meal. Look at that. And you know what's coming next. That's right, put some parsley on there for a nice, pretty garnish. And it has health benefits as well. There's my second container of shrimp and grits. Try it out. Now don't forget, if you like what you saw today, and even if you didn't, hit that like button. Also subscribe to my page so that every time I put up a new recipe, it'll be something you might wanna try. All right, thanks for cooking with me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, every day above ground is a good day. Give God thanks for the breath that he's placed in you. All right, you